This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today we're going to talk about heat treatments for bed bugs and why they're so expensive. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget, hit the notification bell because I live stream every Thursday night and I'll answer your questions. You can come in, you can ask me anything you want. I have a telephone number. You can call if you don't want to type. You can call in and ask me with your own voice and I'll answer you with my voice. So we talk back and forth. And it helps a lot of people. This is why I started doing live streams is because um, there are a lot of people who would like to talk to me personally themselves and ask me a question and because I've been in pest control for over 30 years I have a lot of experience and I don't I, I take time out of my day to, to you like I said answer questions for anyone that has anything at all I do offer a service where people can call me uh, they can set up an appointment to call me and it, the link is in the description below if that's something you would more like you know have a personalized you know talk to Jason moment or whatever but uh, like I said, I always recommend everybody come by on Thursdays because, you know, it's free. You know, I'm not gonna charge you anything for it. So let's get on to heat treatments and why they're so expensive. So there are lots of things you need to factor in to when you're, when you're pricing a, a bed bug job. Right? This is something that a salesman understands when, you know, they go in and they do their inspection and they find bed bugs and they, uh, and then they have to price the job. Why? Why is it that, that heat treatments are so expensive? Why is the price so high? Now, I want to break in right here real quick, and I want to say that there are some guys out there that are doing like three, four hundred, five hundred dollar heat treatment jobs. Those guys are scam artists. They don't really do a good job um, on the heat treatment. The machinery itself to do the heat treatment is not even paid for at those kind of prices. Um, you can't pay for the help to be there long enough. The thing is, is you typically have to be in on a heat treatment job between three and eight hours. Uh, so that's like almost an entire day's worth of work for 500 bucks. Um, that's just not a very good, uh, trust me, it's, it's, it's too expensive for the heat treatment machine. It's too expensive for the insurance. It's too expensive for everything. And they may not even be insured which is why they're giving you these really dirt cheap prices. They know what the ballpark figures are, which is typically between $1,600 and $3,500 is about the going rate for heat treatment. And this is all across the United States from different pricing that I have gotten from other people. Now, albeit it's hearsay, all right? These, is, these are prices people have quoted me as saying, well, my exterminator said they were, the exterminator said they were gonna charge me this, and, and my pest control guy said his, exter his prices were this, but this is going right for about what they have in Virginia too. So I've seen actual estimates drawn up by different exterminators, different companies, and it ranges anywhere from about 1,400 here in the, in the lower, more depressed areas of Virginia to about $3,500 in the more, uh, and this is just local, around Bedford County, Campbell County, and Roanoke County, Virginia. Okay, so this is what we get locally. These are the prices. Now. I do statewide bed bugs all over Virginia. The prices range up in Northern Virginia, around DC, Maryland area, anywhere from, <coughs> and you have to forgive me, I'm still suffering a little bit from a cough. But um, Northern Virginia is anywhere from $4,500 to 12 grand. And these are prices I've seen. These are actual written quotes from exterminating companies that I have read myself. So I don't take pictures of this stuff. I can't show it to you. You're just going to have to believe me or don't believe me, you know, but this is just what I run into on day to day. And the reason I say this is because I had a guy that actually commented on one of my heat treatment videos, said he was from Arizona and said that out there, they only charge three to $400 for a heat treatment, which is uh, not an acceptable price in any means. It's, it's very, very cheap. And 
you can't afford to have a guy do the job right at that price. And I don't even do heat treatments, and I know that. There's, there's no way. I do run a company. I do run my own business, and I know I can't have a guy sit out at a house for all day and charge him, and, and pay him only $300. He's not going to do the job right, and I'm not going to get my equipment paid for. I'm definitely not going to get my insurances paid for, and there's no way that I could afford as a business owner to send a guy out or even do it myself at that price. And so that's why I want to point out there are some guys out there that are doing these dirt cheap prices, and they're really just trying to grab for money. It's really just a scam. So, uh, But I'm going to talk about pricing. I'm going to go over pricing. And I'm going to explain to you why heat treatments are so expensive and hopefully shed some light on you know the differences between a heat treatment and a chemical application. So the I do chemical application. I use Crossfire. That's the pesticide that I choose to use in my business for the control of bed bugs. The reason I pick Crossfire is because I've used lots of different pesticides for bed bugs and I have found that Crossfire is the most effective. I don't have to go as often. I don't get callbacks. I uh, I don't honestly I've in the last like four years since I started using Crossfire, I've only had to go back maybe twenty times in four four years. Four years. That averages out to maybe five times a year. And the typically the ones I do end up having to go back and do a second or even a third treatment on. The reason I have to go and do these second and third treatments is because they're bringing them in from another outside source and they haven't figured out where they're where they're coming from yet and eventually we do narrow it down and figure out where they're coming in or they are just extremely infested to where they just have such a large number of bed bugs and we're talking we're talking max capacity where the bed bugs are even living in around the kitchen sink and they're living around the commodes and the toilets and the bathrooms and all over the whole house because well They've ran out of places in the bedroom to live. And if you're interested in seeing some of these things that I see on a day-to-day basis, uh, follow me over on TikTok. I've got a TikTok uh, link in the description below. And you can go there and you can see some of the crazy things I've seen on on the type of jobs I've done. Now, I've, I've, they're only like a minute, two minutes long, but it gives you a perspective on you know just how severe bed bugs can get if you, if you let them get out of hand. So... <clears throat> but when we go in, me and my son, who's sitting right here beside me, by the way, when we go in and do a bed bug job, uh, we flip furniture upside down. We turn over couches, love seats, lazy boy recliners. We turn over, uh, you know, the the sleeper sofas. We we pull mattresses off of the bed, box springs. We remove. Uh, you know, mattress encasements, and we treat all that stuff. And, and, and usually I recommend people don't put a mattress encasement back on until after the bed bugs are dead. And we treat the bed frame, headboard, footboard, bed rails. Uh, we treat the uh, the baseboards throughout the entire house. And usually doing this in a, in a modest home, you know, maybe between 1,500 and, and maybe 2,000 square foot house, not a big, huge house, it usually takes me and my son about 45 minutes to an hour and a half to do a bed bug job. Um, It just depends on how much furniture they have that we end up having to treat and how much we have to turn over and how much I talk to people. If you've watched my YouTube channel for the last four years, I can't, or five, six years, however long it's been, I can't shut up. I talk too much. You read some of the comments below and they're like, get to the point, you talk too much. And so, and that's the same way I'm doing with this video, but I'm trying to set it up. I try to set up my videos in a way that you kind of understand the processes that it takes to do what I have to do. And so we go in. We treat the house. We're in and out. We're done. All right. Heat treatment. Let them give you the alternative for to, to a heat treatment job. And 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 one treatment is typically all they need with a crossfire treatment. Just so you know, that's the majority of the people I service. Heat uh, crossfire is just one treatment. Go in, treat it one time, and never get callbacks. They just don't. If they do call me back, I tell them we'll give it one more week and we'll see what happens. And when they do, I call back, I, I line up with them to come out and do a follow-up. And they say, you know, after I waited a week, they just died. They're, they're gone now. I don't even had any more. And so that's what I want. That's my goal is to make sure that I don't have callbacks and I don't need to go back out and do a follow-up because it looks good on my record. I mean, I can kill bed bugs. <laughs> so it's a pride kind of thing, maybe. But anyway... So let's talk about this. Let's 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 discuss this difference between heat treatments and and, uh, and a liquid application and why heat treatments are so expensive. So let's get into heat treatment machines. 
All right, the machines themselves can cost anywhere from $10,000 all the way up to $50,000, and I have seen a couple of machines that are up to above $100,000, but I don't think very many companies are using those. They're pretty expensive. Um, in fact, the standard ones that I've seen are around you know, 10 grand is, is about the going rate that's what people are typically buying for their heat treatments. And they may have to have to take you know three, four of these machines on the job. And then they have to use fans to blow the heat around, circulate the heat in order to make sure that the entire uh, room that they're trying to get rid of these bed bugs in is actually heated and they don't have any cold spots. Because the problem with the heat treatment is if there's a cold spot, you'll find bed bugs in that spot. Because just like if you're sitting out on your front porch and it's hot and it's over 100 degrees outside, you're going to go in the house where the air conditioner's on. You're going to go where it's cooler because it's, it's uncomfortable. You know, it's uncomfortable being in the heat and bed bugs feel the same thing. They know. They know they're being cooked alive and so they try to get out of it. They try to go to the cold spots. They try to squeeze into the wall. They try to go in around outlet covers and things like that. And so uh, it's a really common thing for exterminators to tilt their fans and move their fans and shift their fans and make sure that the heat, because they go around with heat guns and they check the walls and they find out, well, is there a cold spot here? Oh, yep, there's a cold spot here. We need to turn the fan. And there's a cold spot over there. We need to turn the fan. Make sure all the air is well circulated. And they have to sit there for anywhere from three to eight hours to make sure that the whole entire house is basically an easy bake oven. All right, we, we're, we're, we're turning the house into an easy bake oven for a day. And we're not going to talk about what this does to your stuff, like melting TVs or, uh, you know, causing hairspray bottles to blow up and crazy stuff like that, that that I also have, you know, I have pictures of, I actually have pictures of these, you know, crazy uh, failed heat treatment jobs where, you know, they go in and they just do a whole lot of damage to the person's house and then they never get rid of their bed bugs. But the thing is, so one of the biggest issues with the heat treatment is all this money. You're spending all this money as a company, and now you've got to charge your customers to make up the difference for that. All right, that's the problem, is the, is the money. The money, everything goes back to money. So if you're spending, you know, how much do you have to pay your guy to sit there for eight hours? How much? You know, are you paying him $15 an hour? Are you paying him $20, $25 an hour? You're going to have to pay me pretty good to sit in a house that's baking like an oven all day, you know, in and out of the house all day. I mean, they don't sit in the house the whole time, but sometimes they're outside, you know, where it's cooler. But basically, they're sitting there and they have to go in and out of this oven all day long. All day. And, and, and how much would you, I mean, ask yourself, how much would you be willing to be paid to do that kind of job? Where you're in and out of the sweltering, and this is like 130 degrees. It's hotter than any state in the Union, even Texas gets. Uh, even the border, you know, around the uh, equator, they don't even get to 130, 135 degrees. You know, it's hot. It's really, really, really hot. And it feels like you're walking into an oven. It's so stifling hot. It's like getting into a car and not rolling down the windows in the middle of the summer. Or going up into your attic and places like it's it's miserable. All right, and just sit there. Just go up in your attic and sit there for a couple hours in the middle of the sweltering summer. You know it's miserable. And this is what it's like to do a heat treatment. And you're not only just going in there and sitting. You're actually going in there and you're rotating machines and you're moving stuff and you're you're working. You're working and you're working hard. It's hard work doing bed bug work. So you've got to look at it from from the job and the the amount of of. Uh, you know, money that the company actually has invested in this and how much money they think they need to get back out of it. So that's, a, that's, that's one of the things that, that runs into the cost of why, why a heat treatment is so expensive. So I also touched on insurance. You know, insurance is, you know, everybody knows insurance is expensive. You always pay more for insurance than what you get back out of it. Um, but insurance for heat treatments is expensive. So uh, this is one of the things that I actually got asked by my uh, insurance provider when I just uh, updated my insurance. I had to you know, switch to a new provider because my old one stopped providing insurance for pest control companies. But um, my new provider actually asked me when I called him, he's like, well, are you going to be doing heat treatments for bed bugs? And I said, well, no, I don't do heat treatments. And he said, well, that's good 
because that would jack up your rate really high because of the risk of uh, burning someone's house down. Uh, I did have a guy call me a couple years ago, said there was a company down in Winston-Salem, and uh, they actually burned a house down doing a heat treatment. And because they had all the paperwork signed and they had all the liability transferred to the customer in this, this contract, uh, they didn't have to pay out hardly anything on liability on burning this person's house down. And then there they are with a house burned to the ground and no way to uh, rebuild it. Now they probably had to, they probably could have just, you know, claimed it on their own insurance. But that's the thing is, you know, is that really fair that, that a company can come in and get you to sign away your house? And, and, and then they're just allowed just to burn it down, to just burn it down to the ground. You know, that's, that's, that's not fair to me. I don't feel like that's fair. And so uh, maybe, maybe one day, I mean, I'm, I'll say this, I won't say never, I never say never. One day, maybe I'll be forced to do a heat treatment. But if you're going to get a heat treatment done and you've decided to pay all this money because it's instant gratification, everybody believes it's, you know, that's the next best thing to slice bread. That if they don't do the heat treatment, then they won't get rid of their bed bugs fast enough. Because when people deal with bed bugs, they don't like getting bit. They don't like getting bit by any bugs. They don't like getting bit by mosquitoes or fleas or, you know, anything, ants or anything that bites you. They, or bees or, you know, there's so many things that can bite you. Spiders, you know, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. There's lots of different bugs that can bite you. But the idea behind a bed bug biting you is that you're, they're biting you while you're asleep. You don't even get a chance to kill them because by the time you wake up, they're gone. And here you got all these bites all over you and you can't even kill them. You can't even find them. You can't get to them. You can't, you know, and it's frustrating. It's frustrating and it's, and it's irritating. And so I understand. I understand. Crossfire takes typically between three and six weeks to kill off all the bed bugs in the house. All of them. A heat treatment. They may give you a 90-day guarantee, but a lot of these heat treatments, they come in, they do their heat treatment, they might spray some towel star when they get done, and then that's a 90-day residual pesticide, by the way, that is a repellent. And then, which, which the reason I'm using this specific chemical is because I this is what I've seen on paperwork. So I actually went in last year and did a bed bug job for a lady in uh, uh, around Charlottesville, Virginia, and her exterminator came in and did a heat treatment and then when he left after his heat treatment he sprayed Tau Star and then he guaranteed the job for 90 days. Tau Star lasts for 90 days and it has a high repellency to bed bugs for 90 days. And so at the end of the 90 days and the bed bugs start coming out of the wall because there were bed bugs in the wall in her house, um, he doesn't have to cover his warranty because She's now outside of her warranty. She has to pay for a new job. And so that's why she called me because I was offering it at a fraction of the cost because typically chemical treatments are cheaper, which is why they are, you know, relatively attractive to customers because they're not spending $3,500. They may not even be spending $1,000 for the treatment. You know, it's a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper than doing a, uh, a heat treatment. And so if you can just put up with the bed bugs for just a few more weeks, they'll be gone. They'll all be dead and they'll be gone. And, but if you do, if you don't care, and you want to spend the money on the heat treatment, then, you know, that's fine too. It's not for everybody. Heat's not for everybody. Heat's not for every purse either. You know, it's expensive. So hopefully this video has explained the differences and explained to you why a heat treatment is so expensive why people spend so much money, why they're willing to. You know, like I said, it's the promise of instant gratification. That's what people are promised with the heat treatment. This is why they're willing to drop $3,500, $1,600, you know, let's, let's go cheap, $1,400, you know, for a heat treatment is because they believe that it's instant gratification. We're not going to get bit by bed bugs anymore. But reality is that that's just not true. It's not true. I've, the very first video I ever did on YouTube was why heat treatments don't work on bed bugs. It was a $3,500 heat treatment that was done at Smith Mountain Lake, Virginia in a multi-million dollar house. And he had bed bugs biting him three days after they turned the heat machine off. So there was no residual pesticide used. It was just heat. This is what he paid for and it didn't work. And it irritated me 
to the point that I started my YouTube channel. I want to help you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm really, honestly, all I want to do is help. I don't, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want you to hurt yourself. That's why I want a safe place we can kind of hang out together. I can teach you what I do, help you learn how to do this on your own, so you're not spending thousands of dollars on an exterminator. And I'm an exterminator. I have my own exterminating business. This is what I do for a living. And I'm, I'm looking out for you. I'm not trying to you know, sell you uh, something that won't work. So y'all have a really great day. Hey, and don't forget to follow me so that you can catch my live streams. Come visit me every Thursday night. I love to talk to all the people that are... Uh, you know, come in to talk and chat. We had uh, about 40 or 50 people the other day, and everybody's sitting there, everybody's asking questions, everybody's kind of, even even the chat. I mean, I've got some people that have been with me on my YouTube channel since I started, and they know what to say, and they'll answer your questions too. And we kind of help each other, and it's a really good community, and so I'd love to have you as a member of my community. So don't forget, hit the like button, follow me on YouTube, and uh, check me out over on TikTok, too, if you want to see some humor in the, in the pest control industry. I got some humorous videos over there, too, not just bed bug stuff. Y'all have a good one. Really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you next time. Thanks a lot, and enjoy your day. Wherever you are, enjoy whatever you're doing, and have a great time. Thank you. Bye.